So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how you can install the MetaXR plugin to allow you to build content for your Quest 2, Pro, 3, pretty much any Meta device that is currently out there using Unreal Engine 5.3. Um, if you're using the Oculus Source build, you don't need to do this. It is already integrated for you. However, if you're using the Epic version launcher, you will need to install the plugin to be able to get content onto the headset. So if we jump over to the PC, what we can do is we can head over to developer.com.oculus, downloads, packages, I'll put a link in the description, and you'll see here that we have Unreal Engine 5 integration. This is 59.0 release notes, and we've got version 59 here. If you're using an older version of Unreal, you can follow the exact same steps. You can just choose the chop down, and then choose whether it's 57, which will be 5.2, and you can go back through to find which version you want. So if you're doing 5.3, this is the ideal version you want. And we can see here that it says installation. You can see here that compared to normal installation process of a plugin, whether it can be in a project file, it's quite different. We need to put this into our projects folder. We need to put this into the engine itself. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our download, we're gonna download it, hit have agreed. We're gonna choose a location on our PC. So we're just gonna drop this in here, Unreal MetaXR plugin. And what we want to do now is we want to find the location of our engine on our machine. So in my case, mine is on my C drive. So let me get to my PC. So I've got a C drive. And then I can go to the drive itself, look for program files. We want to look for Epic Games. If I can find it, Epic Games. And then you see here, this is all the versions of Unreal I have installed. We want to do UE 5.3. So in here, we want to go to engine and then plugins. You can see here, we don't have a marketplace folder. So what we need to do is we need to actually create one. So new folder and we'll call this capital M marketplace. And I think it needs a capital P. Let's double check. Nope. All lowercase. So make sure that is spelled correctly. So we'll create that marketplace folder. We can open this up and then what we can do is we can put the file in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the extracted zip contents from our downloads. So open our downloads in a new window. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right click on the zip file, I'm gonna go extract, uh, extract files. And then we can actually choose where we're going. So I can copy this folder and then in it, we can then extract our MetaXR folder. And you'll see that we have all our content in here now. So if we close this down, we can create or launch a version of 5.0.3. And while that's loading up, I want to say thank you to all the like, Patreons for making this possible, being able to put the time into this. Honestly, if you want any of the files from this whole AR series that I'm working on right now, then you can head over to Patreon and you can grab those. Hopefully you don't have to compile shaders or anything. We'll be able to go into plugins and then enable it. And um, what I want to do is, if you haven't seen the other videos where I explain this, is if you're using Oculus Desktop and you want to do AR pass-through or eye tracking, that kind of thing, what you will need to do is make sure that you have a Oculus developer account. So you can log in on your Oculus desktop and then that will give you developer runtime features. You can actually go to Oculus and then search for Oculus developer account, create a developer account, Oculus. You will need to input some information. I think they ask for bank cards and stuff like that. But um, once you've got that and your account is a developer account, you can go to your Oculus desktop and then you can sign in with that account and that will give you this developer runtime features. So when you enable it, you get pass through of a link, eye tracking, and a couple of other things. And you will need these for AR pass review to test in the editor. So now that we have the MetaXR plugin installed to our um, plugins marketplace folder, what we can do is we can actually launch Unreal Engine 5.3. So we can launch this. And then we can set up a sa like a save location. So once the project loads, we can then go to plugins and we can enable it there. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Patreon and the Discord. You can get all the files that are pretty much working on for this. And um, also a big thank you to everybody over there for being able to make this possible and requesting all these videos. Cool, so now 5.3 is loaded in the browser. What we can do is we can open in virtual reality. Let's choose a folder. I'm just gonna use my videos folder that I'm recording this to. So I can keep everything together. Uh, install in MetaXR, install in MetaXR. There we go. So select folder. Just realize my folders have spaces in, so that might cause some issues if you to build, if you're following along. Just make sure there's no no spaces in your project and you'll be good to go. 
I won't be doing it for this one. So we see here that Unreal 5.3.2 is booting up. So we just need to wait for this to load and then we can go to edit and then project settings. Excellent. So now we're done. We can go to edit plugins or you can open up the plugins folder if it's here at the top and you can see that we've got a installed codex and then we have virtual reality. So virtual reality is going to be our meta XR plugin. We're going to hit restart or we want to enable it and then restart. Okay, so my recording died, so I already noticed while editing this that we don't have the end. Um, once Unreal reboots and launches back up, you can double check that you have the plugin enabled with the tick on MetaXR. And then what you can do is you can go to Edit and then Project Settings. If you open this up and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, what you'll find is MetaXR is enabled, and then you have all of these features that you can use and take advantage of. If you're in earlier versions of Unreal, you might not have the Meta XR simulator JSON file stuff. I'll be doing a video of that in the future. But um, everything else is here for you to play around with and enable where you need to. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, enable it, download the plugin, set it up to the marketplace folder, install it, and then set it up with plugins. Enable it. I don't think I need to go through it and enable anything else. Um, Open XR should be on. That will be by default. Um, everything else can pretty much be left as it is. Um, I know some people will probably want to play around with this XR API. Don't just leave it as default as it says currently recommended and then you'll be good to go. You'll just be able to connect your headset up and then press VR preview, which you could do anyway before that. But yeah. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, next video, I'm not too sure which one I'll be uploading next, but we'll take a look at some more quest stuff and then get going from there. So, big thank you to everyone over on Patreon. Uh, allow me to put the time into this. Helps more than anybody can really think of. Um, it is, it is, I'm very grateful. Um, so, until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Don't forget to check out Patreon.